Hello from The Speech Solution. This is the Catch a Butterfly activity. It is a hybrid activity that can be used um, for green screen, distance learning, or in person. Uh, let me show you what we have. We have all of these different backgrounds to use and they focus on each of these uh, different skills. You can use articulation with any of the backgrounds. Um, and then we have specific language skills that go with each background. We give you all the printables so that you can use this activity for in-person. Um, anything that you can do with the uh, backgrounds, you can also do in-person. And of course, we give you our four our therapy cards. And they work on 11 different target sounds and 5 to 10 language skills. All right, let me show you the first background um, can be used uh, specifically for articulation, early language skills, and vocabulary. But what you're going to do is you're going to tell the kids that, that butterflies are loose all over the room, um, that uh, we have all kinds of butterflies that you can put up. I'll just give you a sample of some of them. And the kids' jobs, it's the kids' job to catch the butterflies and put them into the cage. And so you can use a butterfly net or we give you a printable net if you don't have one. <clears throat> and you're gonna have the kids say uh, a sentence that they need to work on um, with a specific sound. Uh, so an example of one of our sentences, we have 33 different ones uh, for 11 sounds, initial, medial, and final sentence for each one of them. So if we were gonna do the final S sound, the child would say something like this, I can't miss the chance to chase these nice butterflies. And so in that sentence, they have the opportunity to practice uh, five different final S sounds. And then after they do that, you're, you're gonna get the butterfly net and ask them which butterfly they wanna catch. They're gonna catch a butterfly in their net, and then they will put that butterfly in their cage. All right, a sample for a child that's working on early language skills, they would just put together and, and, or use any one of these simple phrases um, to catch a butterfly. They could say, please get a net. Um, I see a blue butterfly. Let's catch a butterfly. Look at my butterfly and butterfly go into the cage. So lots of practice um, for articulation and early language skills. Okay, let's take these down. I'll show you the next background. Now, again, you can use articulation for any one of these, but we also have specific language skills. So this one is for spatial concepts. And so you will, um, you will hide um, different um, butterflies around the backyard. So you can um, put one in the bucket so that the kids can see it. Um, maybe in the mailbox right here um, and behind the house so it's sticking out a little bit and then the kids of course are going to look for butterflies tell you where they where they are and then you can pull them out you can also have them um, hide the butterflies themselves we give you a language card that gives you um, it's color coded so we um, tell you all the different uh, spatial concepts you can use and um, which one is good for what age um, in case anyone needs that. Um, so we give you this one for spatial concepts and also there's a living room scene that you can use and, and hide things inside the house. The butterflies got loose in the house or you can go outside and find them. All right, this one is for pronoun usage and so with this one, you're going to take <clears throat> the butterflies and you're going to put them in cages. Just put them around. Let's give this one to the little kids. And let's get another one for grandma. Grandma likes to catch butterflies too. All right. So then you can go through. Um, you can switch out the butterflies. You're going to say who has a butterfly they have a butterfly, he, she, um, whose butterfly is, is this, um, this is her butterfly, his butterfly, their butterfly, um, 
who does this cage belong to? Because you can take the butterflies off and just talk about the cages if you want and ask who, who does this cage belong to? Who does this one? It's This belongs to him, her, them. You can take the butterflies and say, you know what? This is my butterfly. Whose butterfly is this? And then they can use you, yours. And you can say, you know, this is... This is your butterfly. Whose butterfly is this? So you can, lots of ways to use all of the different pronouns with this one. Okay. And this one is for body parts. So um, you can use a stick to have a butterfly fly around the girl and land in different places. Or you can actually take a butterfly and move it around. And it can land all different places on the girl and you talk, the, the child can tell you where to have the butterfly land or you can ha already have it there. You can tape butterflies all over the girl and um, have them tell you where they are and take them off as they do, have it land on, on you. You know, you can hold out your hand and the butterfly comes and lands on it. So lots of ways to use this for body parts. And then this one is for categorizing. And so um, you can give the child different categories like, um, all of the big butterflies, any big butterfly is going to go on the fence and any of the little butterflies are gonna go on the flowers. And so you will show them a butterfly and they have to tell you if it's big or little, where it goes. Um, and there's different categories that we give you. Um, the butterflies with open wings, the butterflies with closed wings, Purple butterflies can go on the fence. Yellow butterflies go on the flowers. A butterfly with one color um, can go on the flowers and butterflies that have designs go on the fence. So lots of different uh, ways to use categories here. Okay, and then um, let's see. For this one, we use these for WH questions. And so there's a couple of different ways you can use this, but. Um, you're going to tell the kids that every time they answer a question that we're going to let a butterfly out of the cage and they can fly onto the branch. And so you, we give you um, a bunch of questions you can use on our language card, but you would basically tell them, you know, you know, what do butterflies eat when they answer that? You can have them guess which butterfly you think is gonna get away and, and fly to the branch. And then oh, it's the yellow one. And then you can ask another question. You can, you can just ask all what questions or who or where, whatever the child's working on, or you can use a variety of them, you know, who uh, chases butterflies, they answer that, another butterfly goes. They keep going back and forth until all the butterflies are gone. They can keep guessing. Or you can start this, the question sequence from the very last slide and tell them that we're gonna catch butterflies. And each time they answer a question, then they catch the butterflies. So lots of ways to use this for questions or just any kind of reinforcement. All right. So this activity is available at thespeechsolution.com. It's Catch a Butterfly, and let's watch a child's speech take flight. <laughs> 